Good afternoon or good morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. Finding the area of irregular shapes is the topic for today's video. And we've got a couple of irregular shapes that we're going to be looking at, and we're going to talk about a couple of different ways of finding the area of these irregular shapes. So here is the first shape we're going to be looking at, and we're going to start off with one really, really, really easy way of calculating the area of this irregular shape. Uh, this is especially handy when you have a shape that is on grid paper and you have straight lines throughout. The first way is count the squares. Very simply, since this is a four meter line across the top, and it's one, two, three, four grids across. I know that this is each one meter, so I can count one meter by one meter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I counted them. I have fifteen centimeters. Sorry, I said meters earlier. Centimeters squared. Please remember the units. It is centimeters. I see the units here and there and they are square centimeters because we're talking about area. Area is always two-dimensional. I have a length and I have a width. So two-dimensional means I have a little number two up at the top. So the first method is I can simply count the squares. That's not always a quick option, especially if you have a large shape. So there are other ways of doing it too. Second way is to subdivide. What subdividing means is you're going to take the shape and you're going to break it into smaller shapes. Okay, for example, I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to subdivide this into three different rectangles. And in fact, in this case, one of them is a square. So I have a rectangle here, here, and I'm left over with a square. In this case, my rectangle is four centimeters by three centimeters. It was an awful M, I apologize. Remembering that the formula for area of a regular shape is length times width. So this shape shape I is 4 centimeters by 3 centimeters, which is 12 centimeters squared. This shape here, II, is 1 centimeter by 1, 2 centimeters. Equals 2 centimeters squared. And shape III. is one centimeter by one centimeter. Because each one forms a portion of the whole, I can simply add these together, 12 plus two plus one, and I'll get 15 centimeters squared. Interestingly, same answer I got up above, which indicates to me that I've got the right answer. So, First way, count the squares. Second way, subdivide. The third way expand and subtract. So I'm going to take my shape, my also irregular shape, where I could subdivide. I could draw a line right here. I could have a rectangle here and a rectangle here, or a line here. And I could have a rectangle here and a rectangle here, or I could expand it. So instead of finding two rectangles, one here and one here, I could make a larger shape and I could then subtract. So step one, I'm going to find a larger rectangle that encompasses one, two, three of the sides 
and I'm going to just continue it through. So I'm basically going to, this chunk is taken out of it, I'm going to pretend that the chunk is back, and I'm going to find out the area of that overall shape. So again, area is length times width for the whole shape, 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters. Find the area of the larger shape. In this case, 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters equals 16 centimeters squared. The second part is I'm going to subtract, I'm going to take away this smaller portion here. Subtract the piece that doesn't belong. In this case, it's here. And I know the dimensions because I have the dimension of that line and that line. So it's 3 times 2 centimeters equals 6 centimeters. Okay? So I take my 16 centimeters minus 6 centimeters squared equals 10 centimeters squared. And I can quickly check by going back to option A, which is counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that tells me that I am correct.